Imagine being the moderator that accidentally approved the decal used to make this face. Imagine being the mistake of God that decided it was a good idea to combine this with this. Imagine being the parents of a healthy young Builders Club member, only to discover that your money is going to the company hosting this spawn from the ninth circle of hell. In Dante's Inferno, the second most wretched and sinful souls to have ever existed are tortured by Lucifer himself, their infinitely regenerating skin being torn off by his jagged claws. The first most sinful souls have to look at these things all day. I'm Ruben Sim, and we have to talk about the uncanny valley of Roblox avatars. If you don't know what the Uncanny Valley is, essentially it's a range of creepiness a lot of illustrations find themselves in when trying to replicate a human-like appearance. Take a look at this wikiHow drawing. Not creepy at all. Take a look at this photorealistic painting. Also not creepy. Now take a look at the character models from the latest Mass Effect game. What the fuck is that? Roblox avatars very easily avoid the Uncanny Valley due to their simple and cartoonish appearance. Yet somehow, a collective of Twitter users have mathematically calculated the most disturbing and grotesque bastardization of this form, and created what I can only describe as the Robloxian Thought.0 avatar, or the R-Thought avatar. R-Thought avatars seem to be a replica of the self-proclaimed Instagram model demographic, frequently being seen in similar selfie-themed photos. That's not how a camera works. Oftentimes, these photos will include several layers of artistic depth and lore. In this photo, we can see an R-Thought about to have sex with another R-Thought. Here we can see an R-Thought in the late stages of pregnancy. A Roblox avatar is pregnant by someone with an ear. Many people have their own theories about where the people who create these come from, but I personally believe it's a direct consequence of Roblox disregarding all forms of online dating. Despite having an incredibly diverse range of ages, Roblox seems to have lost all interest in preventing strangers from engaging in romantic or even sexual discussions in-game. Roblox relies heavily on investors giving them funding, and investors rely heavily on company growth. If Roblox is deemed to be unsafe for children, they lose their COPA certification, several of their advertisers, and millions of dollars in potential funding. This seems to have no impact on Roblox's board of directors, however, who can't allocate enough of their $92 million towards a working moderation department. As sexual activity increases among Roblox's more privileged users, they begin to employ real-world sexual tactics onto the platform, especially when they begin losing the ability to discern romance between two Roblox avatars from romance between two real people. Thus, as Instagram models accumulate sexual attention through suggestive mirror selfies, our thoughts follow the same path, with significantly more horrifying results. To test the effectiveness of this look, I've asked my girlfriend to replicate it. Sweetheart, I need you to make me look like this. Um, I need to put your hair back. Okay. Do you have a headband? Uh, I have hats. Clearly I've been having a laundry detergent for breakfast by the uh, box of Tide on my table. Do you want your ears poking out? This makes my forehead look so fucking big. <laughs> Ow. Can you look at the reference for Is this okay, like how you do it? it do you do I this? I don't want to wet it. <laughs> what the fuck? This is dry? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop acting like it's painful. Oh! I'm tapping you with the sponge. Oh. Uh. Alright, we're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not like the reference photo. <laughs> I need, I need, an I need to look good. So you head back a little bit. <laughs> I feel like you you don't do it this way when I you do it to yourself. I don't do this much, but you want, you want some intense makeup. I don't think you hit yourself this hard. <laughs> you don't want to make your beard me. look really... No, don't outlined. touch the beard. Don't touch it. Please keep your filthy, keep, keep your horror hands. Yeah, I think you're good. Is that sharp enough for you? Does it look even? Not at all. Oh! <laughs> My contour has scoliosis. Are you almost finished? I agree. It's a very nice angle. This is an exercise on my eyelid muscles. I don't want to do this for too long or I'm going to get really buff eyelids. <laughs> it's <fucking> stupid. <laughs> it look like I got stung by a bunch of bees. I just realized you could have just made me look like one of the male ones. It's too late now. My 
<laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> okay. Oh god. <laughs> a big shot of your skin. Ben! Did you Don't fuck open up? your eyes! Oh, I'm sorry. Trans? I think it needs to be like bigger. Like cover a large portion of my eyelid. Please stay still. No, that doesn't me. count to staying still. Bobo. No, no, where you were is good. This is gonna be a huge fucking meme. People are gonna be like screenshotting this and sending it to me for years. Make them big. Yeah. No. <laughs> hey y'all. I'm Melanie Martinez. Buy my merchandise. Hey, you're Melanie Martinez. I'm Melanie Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my merchandise. I feel good. <laughs> Apparently this person posted their number, which we're gonna have to censor. But um it says if anybody wants to text and then they put a little heart there. <sighs> so I actually uh texted this number. I confirmed who it is. So uh I'm gonna send Rain a very heartfelt message. Uh, hey man, I'm uh a really big fan of your work. No, no artwork and you inspired me to create my own work and we're gonna take a beautiful selfie <laughs> do you like that <laughs> i think i think we should go for something a little more flattering how's that <laughs> it's better excellent i sure do feel sexy it sure does feel like guys want to fuck me right now If you like this video, please consider that I really hated making it, and it would be a shame if my hard work and self-deprecation went unrewarded. Please subscribe to my channel, and consider donating to my Patreon. Please donate. I need money. Please, give me your money. I'm Ruben Sim, and I need your money.